welcome back to another episode of my van build and um, I've got lots of things that have been delivered lots and lots of things I ordered a load of stuff to start putting my electrical bits and bobs in I've ordered there's these things called CBE basically it's like you buy the switch in different parts. You can buy a surround, you can buy the insert, and then you buy the actual component as well. What have we got? We have got two double USB, and they say 5 volt, 1 amp, and 5 volt, 2.1 amp. I particularly wanted ones that don't have an LED on them because I don't like any light in in the van at night when I'm trying to sleep and in my old van I had a USB that had a little blue LED on it and it was like Blackpool illumination. This is my CBE frames. I wanted the graphite ones so I bought uh, so these you pop over your switches and things like, whoops, like this. Does it fit? Yay! So then you have your USB in a nice surround. And I bought a 12 volt socket which has a little thing because I think it just looks a mess because a lot of them are just like that open. Or they have the rubber bung, but I thought I like that one because it's got a little lid and it flaps down. And this is a switch which lights up red when it is on. I've got a 300 watt inverter that my dad gave me, which I want to link to this socket, which is a 240 volt socket or 230 volt which again should fit inside these little things so they all look pretty so really this is to go in one of the double ones um, along with this switch is it in the right way like that so that this switch will connect to the inverter uh, to turn it on and off and then there will be a cable coming from the socket on the inverter to this socket here. So essentially this will turn the inverter on and off and this will just plug in to the inverter via a cable that will be linked to it. So that will be put in the side of my kitchen unit. The other double one is going to have the 12 volt cigarette socket so that will go in there. That one will go in there like so. So then I should put these on the side of the unit like this. And I'll have my three different lots of power. I've got another box yet. And now I've opened that, I've opened that, I've opened that, I've opened that. I've got one more box. What's in this one? I ordered so many different bits, I don't remember what I ordered in the end. Oh, I know of this. This is the. I wanted a four little light switch unit which would fit onto one of these as well. So they're very good that you can just buy from all the different sellers and they all fit together because with my light switches I wanted, I'm going to have five spotlights on the ceiling, the LED spotlights, down lighters and I want to have three different circuits. I also want to put in a LED colour changing strip light somewhere. I've not decided quite where, but I liked in my old van that I could sort of change the colour a bit. So that's what the other switch is going to be for. That's all my bits for now. I just need to buy the cable and start getting them in the van. Hello, well it's another day now and I've had more deliveries. It's actually Friday night. 
I was supposed to be going on a date, but I got blown out. You know, when you get to my age, it's actually nicer to stay in than it is to go on a date. So I wasn't that disappointed, actually. So I've got new things. I've ordered loads of stuff. I know what this is. This is a 110 amp hour leisure battery. There we go. That is a fish. So, 110 amp hours. I'm just going to have one for now. It's an AGM. This one doesn't give off any gases. You don't have to keep it in a sealed unit. And um, you can actually lie it down if you want to. Not that I intend trying to lie it down. Um, but yeah, so that is my 110 amp hour battery. We'll see what's in here. I have ordered loads of bits of cables um, and a split charge relay. I have got some different colored cables. I've got my split charge kit. Uh, yeah, and I think of the stuff. Lots of cable clips because they bought the split charge relay as a kit because they send you all the bits that you need. And um, I was really hoping for some instructions as well. However, as you see from the box, don't look to be any instructions. Two drill bits. If I knew what I was drilling. I've got a load of black wire. do with some instructions because hmm, it's just loads of wire otherwise. You see I was hoping to go and have a max fan fitted um, although there's a place up in Derbyshire who don't seem overly interested in booking me in to do it and they were a decent price. However there was a place further down south. This business were much more interested but then much more expensive. Like the max fan was about 300 quid and they wanted another 300 quid to fit it. They wanted 250 pounds to make a hole in the roof of the van. £250 to drill four holes and then to cut in between the holes with a jigsaw which would take probably about 15 minutes. £250! It's outrageous! So I think I'm going to be buying the fan and putting it in myself because the folks in Derbyshire don't want to do it and the other company just want to rip me off. So that's about it really. Got my battery, got my split charge kit. 
How in the hell I fit it, I have no idea. I need to do some research. And it's awful weather. It's rained continually for days. And how am I supposed to work on the van? Because I've not got a garage to work in or anywhere undercover. And I can't have like the doors open with this rain because all the woodwork will be wet and all the plywood and under the floor and it will just mess everything up. So that's really slowing me down. So I'm just going to drink beer and sulk at home. I'm now going to try and put uh, some cables through my conduit, which is up here. Rain's here. It said it was coming. I kept looking at the weather thinking, I'm not going to start anything. So I'm going to have a go at this. My friend Dave told me, after one of my previous videos, that you can get this nylon... I can't remember what it's called. Look outside! I'm glad I'm not out there. So, can you see? I'm going to have a go. It's very windy, you'll have to excuse the noise, but it's only gone and worked. Look, look, my wires have come out in the garage bit, all the way down that wire. So, thanks to Dave for telling me about this thing. It's, I need to look it up. Well, the rain's back, so I've had to down tools again, but I've looked this thing up and it is called a draw tape nylon 10 meters and it costs 2.99 from tool station it has this metal bit on the end which is good for guiding through and it's got a nice rounded bobbly bit on the end so when you poke it down the conduit it goes really well and it's bendy but it doesn't kink so it just works really well and what I did, you might have seen before, was fix my wires onto this and then thread it through. And then when I got to the other end, I detached them and co coiled them up and taped them so that they weren't going to come back up the conduit. And then I pulled this back the other way. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please do subscribe to my channel. Give me a like and leave a comment. And I think subscribe button is somewhere there but I might be wrong thanks for watching